Good afternoon, folks, and welcome to Beijing, the Wukasong Arena. This is the FIBA Basketball World Cup, the first semifinal. And it's Spain winning the opening tip, attacking the basket to the left. It's Australia in the green and the gold. And here's Ricky Rubio. He's been sensational at this World Cup. Marcus Gasol leans over the defense and gets Spain another chance. And Rubio, who the biggest criticism, or one of them, uh, in his career has been the inability to hit the three-point shot. He's made a mockery of that criticism in this tournament, coming yeah. in shooting 48%. Yeah, just the fact that he was willing to take consecutive shots on the first possession shows you how aggressive he is. He gets his deflection and steal here. Quick hands, and now Rubio hands it off, and Aaron Gomez goes up and flushes it with the left hand. Great start by Spain. Yeah, Rudy Fernandez used to be the most athletic Spanish player, and now that mantle goes to Juancho. You see the lefty finish. Della Vadova. Right about Fernandez. Here's Joe Ingles. And he drives in and banks it in. Joe Ingles, uh, the Spaniards know him. He spent some time in Spain. Actually, Granada, then went up to Barcelona. Great player. Yeah, absolutely. Such a smart player. So many smart players on the floor right now, including this guy right here. Gasol, you got to respect his jumper. Here's Victor Claver and the Valencian misses. But the well, it's Joe Ingles who comes up with the basketball. Gets it away from Watson and Gomez. Ingles back to Baines. And he's hit that three-point shot in this tournament, but was short. Rubio, no hesitation, off the back of the iron that time. Eagles tests out that defense. Now brings it back out to Patty Mills. Patty Mills pulls up and banks it in. Patty Mills able to score on all levels. See the mid-range pull up. Soft kiss off the glass, and I don't think anyone's playing with more confidence in this tournament than Patty Mills. Right over Gasol. Rubio again, open, and that time the ball rattles out. Ingles keeps a D on his back, then he loses it out of bounds. I was trying to absorb the contact from the defender, draw a foul. You see a little bit of contact perhaps, but it's going to be a turnover on the Aussies. Rudy Fernandez, it's off you, buddy. Rubio just down the baseline, passes it back out to Gasol. Rudy Fernandez. He's also been shooting it very well from deep in this tournament. Pat Mills zigzags and off the front of the iron. Tough, quick shot there from Patty Mills. Aaron Gomez. Good! Well. Coming out providing uh, some points here in the first quarter. You saw Landale raise his hand. Can't give Juancho that much room. It's called for the defensive foul on the other end, trying to play some post defense. You know, we saw Aaron Gomez come out at Eurobasket 2017 in Turkey. And, uh, you know, it's a gradual process sometimes. He's far more important now. Ingles goes out of the game, and then Chris Golding comes in. Interesting uh, early substitution. Golding is a terrific shooter in his own right. Here's Mills, and the ball rim, rims in. Looks like it was going to rim out, but it rims in. Yeah, Ingles going to the bench. They like to.
kind of let him play the point forward spy when Patty Mills gets a break, which won't be too often in the semifinal, I'm sure. Gasol goes up against Baines. Now Rubio again where he hit the first three, this time an air ball. And it is indeed off of Landale. Re referee is going to discuss this one. Oh, Omar Bermudez. We'll have a look. Oh, yeah, I think they got it right. Looked like they got it right there. Well, they're going to look, they're going to review it. Okay, we'll go to the, uh, this time's the question. Let's Listen in. The clock, but go to the beginning of the, the offensive. No, go to the, the beginning, the backward. Backward, go backward. No, no, backward, backward. Go there, go there. Down, go there, backward, backward. No, back forward, back forward. Baseline, I, I need to know the clock in the beginning. Yeah, right now, wait. Go there. Now, when the ball goes inbound. Stop there. 6, 18. So 58. It's passing by 20 seconds, okay? So, 4 seconds in the shot clock. Okay. Four seconds in shot clock. Four seconds. So really, it was more of an issue of the shot clock, and not because I don't think they can review the right, uh, out of bounds. Exactly. You can only review clock issues in the earlier parts of the game. Rubio is going to inbound the ball to Aaron Gomez, and it's another one. Juancho well, lighting it up so far in the first quarter. And he likes that matchup with Landale, you can tell. Golding gets a right back for Australia. That's his reputation. Yeah, Golding averaging about nine points a game on almost 40% from beyond the arc. Claver battling for position. And Golding called for the foul. The club here has uh, always been highly rated, and I think in the opinion of some, hasn't lived up to it, but here's Golding's shot. Lived up to expectations, but Claver has continued to earn his spot in this team, and Scariolo gives him the ultimate trust, and he's had a good World Cup. Here comes Rubio. Aaron Gomez, shot clock winding down, and good reach, and Della, Della Vidova forces the turnover. Delavadova is such a pest on defense. Gets his hands on a lot of balls, and you can see the three-pointer on the other end. So the three-pointer takes it up to 12 to 11. And what a good sight for the Aussie fans. Delavadova struggled the other night, just three of 15 of the, from the field against the Czech Republic in the quarterfinal. So good to see his first shot go down. Rubio behind the back to Mark Gasol. Now Della Vadova, his outlet pass, batted away by, I think it was Aaron Gomez. Rubio goes behind the back, puts it up. What a finish. Yeah, Rubio going into the bag of tricks. First and move, and then the lefty high off the glass. Is foul here. Fernandez steps in front of Mills, and the block is called. And you can read his lips. He says, no way. Watch this. Yeah, it was not set. Patty Mills always applying pressure on the defense. You take a look at the Rubio finish right over Nick uh, K, who just came into the game, as well as Andrew Bogut. And what a luxury for the Aussies to go from Baines to another NBA champion in Andrew Bogut. Also, three subs coming in for Spain. Pau Ribas, Sergio Yule, or as some people say, Yui. We'll go with Sergio Yule and Pierre Oriola. Number 18, Nick Cage, also in for Australia. Great story. Mills, short, and Oriola with the rebound. Yeah, Mills not even concerned about the defender being draped all over him. Any daylight, he's going to let it fly. Good pass to Gasol, and he's blocked from behind and fouled by Bogut. Bogut, who does offer rim protection for this Aussie squad is 
You see Gasolda hard roll, kind of initiated the contact. Bogut did have three blocks in 12 minutes against the Czech Republic. Yeah, so 34 years of age, still averaging double digits in the World Cup. Hard to believe he's 34 now. Remembering back in 2006, 13 years ago, when he was added to the roster late after Fran Vasquez pulled out with the uh, back injury or problem, and all he did was go out and play important minutes and help them win the first world title. Of course, his brother Pau gets all injured and unable to play this year. Pau was the MVP in 2006. Yeah. Spain's all-time leading scorer at the World Cup. Holding to Bogut, hearing some booze. And Bogut gets inside, gets it to go. Bogut can still score. Had a great year last year as the MVP of the Australian League with the Sydney Kings before going back to the Golden State Warriors for the playoffs. Nick Kay guarding Gasol, and Gasol is just going to take advantage of that matchup. But he misses. Nick Kay couldn't have done anything else. And Marcus Gasol did not finish. Ingles back in. Here he is. Steps back. Front and back of the rim. Stays out. Well, we're expecting a tight one here tonight. Chance the championship trophy on the line. Ribas. Open. Puts it on the deck. Goes off one foot. Ingles knocks it over to Pogan. Bogut's always uh, been active in the social media, and I think some of his posts have rubbed the wrong way, but there's no doubt about it. He's uh, still got it on the court, and he's going to get some quality minutes today. Here's Golding. Nick Kay. Back to Bogut for three. Kay gets it back. Now Golding and Powell Ribas with the rebound. Pat Mills comes from behind, knocks it out of his hands, but can't stay in bounds. Good hustle there for Mills. Trying to keep the possession alive. Almost snuck up. Also got his feet back onto the court, but couldn't quite control the ball. With Scariolo, you simply cannot complain, have any complaints about what he's done for Spanish basketball. <laughs> he, he's done nothing but win. Here goes Mills getting his first breather. So it's Della Vadova. Back in, along with Goulding, Ingles, Bogut, and Kay. Hey, hey. Uh, Vidova wanted an eight-second count in the backcourt. Find the pressure on Yule, who finds room. Ingles brings it back now for Australia. Bogut going up against Willie uh, Goyet, who's Aaron Gomez as well. He wears the name of his mother on the back of his uh, shirt. She was a great player for Spain in her own right. You see that pass, and they're actually going to give Golding the two shots, even though he didn't really have control of the ball, but I guess was in an upward motion. Very gracious call there by the referee. Well, if you're going to have anybody at the line for Australia, you want it to be Golding. Eighty-nine percent free throw shooter. This whole Australian team. I mean, together they shoot eighty-one percent from the free throw line and forty percent from three. They've been running an offensive clinic. In this uh, tournament, the only team to score more than 80 points in all their games. Meanwhile, Spain, the only team to concede less than 80 in all their games. So maybe that magic number today will be 80. Goya, Willie Aaron Gomez, and Ingles knocks it into the hands of Pau Ribas. And Ribas gets it to go. What a great story he is. He's really. Uh, 
battled back from the serious injury that he suffered before the Eurobasket while training with Spain back in 2017. And here he is at the World Cup. All good action. Okay, back to Ingles. Della Vadova for three. Will it be a second? Yes, it will. So back and forth we go as the shooting starting to pick up for both sides. Australia already knocking down three three-pointers. Here's Yule right at the stripe. Clutch play, Sergio Yule. Good ball pressure in the backcourt from Rivas. Bounce pass. K or Bogut silences the booze. Yeah, Bogut might not, he might not play that many minutes, but he had 10 points in those 12 minutes the other night. Already here with four. Yep. Yule has it knocked away by Ingles. So crafty. Ingles does so many different things that helps you win basketball games if you're Australia. Australia can pretty much hold it for one shot unless Spain uh, force a turnover here. Get it back. Here's Della Vadova. And his pass goes out of bounds, and sure enough, I don't know if Spain forced it, but he did turn it over. And now Spain have another opportunity. Mitch Creek, meanwhile, is going to check in and give Goulding a break. Here comes Creek. Spent some time in the NBA this year. You might see Joe Ingles conversing with a few Spanish players throughout this one. Another thing he's known for. Yule, good at those last second shots, and there he is again. Look at him. Look at the emotion. I mean, how many big shots at the buzzer has he hit in his career? Well, great back screen set there by Hernan Gomez. Bogut fell to step up, and the Tiso buzzer beater knocked down by Sergio Yule. And the passion. Wow. At the end of one, Spain. Lead it, 22 to 21 over Australia. Australia starting with possession here. Yule having hit that three-pointer for, for Spain right at the end of the first quarter. Olga Shaheen calls the foul on, on Spain. We see Nick K Fernandez. posting up hard. And Fernandez just using that right hand almost to hold him. Not, not a too aggressive foul. We take a look at Jimmy Goldstein, the famous basketball super fan in the crowd. Kay left wide open in the corner. Can't knock it down. You will see how that impacts him hitting that shot. Well, he was short on that. And now the ball knocked out of Willie under Gomez's hands. And it's Ingles who brings it up. Ingles facing the pressure, doing a little bit too much dribbling, perhaps. Get that fortunate to keep the ball, Australia there. Quick pass to Kay and goes up quickly and scores over Aaron and Gomez. Great execution there from Australia. Kay finding room after setting a down screen, slipped to the basket, and beautiful feed from Della Vadova. Boy, how good has Kay been for Australia? He's played an important role, hasn't he? Here's Yule, bounce pass, Aaron and Gomez. And Bogut with the, the rebound. The D by K. 
Spain possibly could have made that one, though. Bogut is an exceptional passer, isn't he? Much like Gasol. Now, Creek. Ingles. Oh. And Ingles has to be careful. Shouting at the referee, wanting a foul. Here's Yule with the left hand to Oriola. And I think Oriola was out of bounds. Spain, so fortunate to have a guy like Sergio Yul come off the bench who can obviously create his own shot, but also so good at sharing the ball with his teammates. And there's not much of a drop-off between him and Rubio, although Rubio has had a phenomenal tournament. Pat Mills takes the pass from Bogut. Oh. And traveling on Mitch Creek. Good defense by Victor Claver. That slid his feet, cut off that baseline drive. Creek nowhere to go. Pal Rivas pulls up open. And Bogut with another rebound. Starting to collect some boards, Mr. Bogut. Mills from deep. Now both teams misfire. And Willie Ernan Gomez misses from deep. Mitch Creek open four. Yeah, I think Australia will live with that Hernan Gomez three pointer. Pat Mills drives in. The well is running dry for both of these teams on the last several possessions. Yeah, the defense has picked up. Not seeing many open looks for the uh, star scorers. Juliana Gomez goes up and this is another one. So this gives uh, a chance for Andre Lamanis to uh, hold the basketball and bring Aaron Baines back in for Andrew Bogut. And of course, Rubio and Marcus Gasol also re-entered the fray as we saw the Spanish defense, and sorry, Spanish offense, like you said, somewhat lacking in the first I'll couple of minutes here, still you, scoreless. I'll tell you what, Josh, I mean, no, no, nothing will rival that thrill of victory, agony of defeat game like that Spain, Australia, when back in Rio. And these Australian players have every reason to come out today strong, and they get a layup from Mills. I'll tell you, they were all in tears after that one. Denied their first uh, medal, Olympic medal. Well, victory tonight would guarantee a podium finish for both of these teams. It would be a podium finish, a first ever podium finish for Australia in a World Cup or an Olympic Games. Spain, of course, have uh, been regulars. And a push by Creek. Well, Spain able to get the mismatch through a set of screens, Creek forced to switch to onto Gasol. Rubio feeding it inside, and see Creek using the hands and the forearm. And Kobe Bryant, Kobe Bean Bryant, look at that. And the crowd's just seeing the picture. They put that on the overhead as well. Two-time Olympic champion, and obviously the, one of the, the main stars of any sport of the entire Olympics back in 2008 here. He's the FIBA Global Ambassador for this uh, World Cup Global Ambassador. Excuse me. Mills goes up and banks it in. Rubio, his pass blocked by Ingles. Of course, they were uh, just teammates in Utah. So Ingles knows what he's all about. Yeah, we talked about the Utah Jazz's presence in this World Cup. Of course, Gobert, we'll see him later for France. Donovan Mitchell still in the tournament with the USA as Rubio knocks down another one. Oh, a nice spin from Mills. 
Brings it back to Landale. That's good. Jock Landale kind of uh, really forced his way not only into the team, uh, but into the starting lineup for Australia in the buildup. And another uh, promising boomer here puts him up by six. Yeah, Londale, 6'11", 2 meters 11. You saw that pure shooting stroke he had. Patty Mills did a great job of finding him, and now he finds Creek. He can't finish at the basket. Creek does a better job the second time. And the lead now has grown to eight points, the biggest of the game here for the Boomers. Creek staying with it, finds the loose ball, the turn, quick turn for the finish. Rubio. Fouled by Landale. Well, Australia have really done nothing but play close games at this FIBA Basketball World Cup. So even though they've gone up by eight, I don't expect them to pull away. And certainly not against a Spain team that is never going to throw in the towel. Here comes, uh, as you look at the, the photos of Rubio and Landale, uh, Scariola bringing Rebus out and putting uh, Sergio Yule back into the game. There goes Rebus. Shot clock about to expire. Yule puts it up. Landell battling for the rebound along with Thurman Gomez and watch Thurman Gomez uh, commits the foul as well on Mitch Creek. Smart play from Creek waiting for the contact. Thurman Gomez running him over but you mentioned those close games. If you're Australia it gives you confidence because you feel you can win them all. And for Spain you're thinking well Australia you know are not dominant to the point where they're just blowing everyone out. Here's Creek and Rubio. Open floor where he's at his best. Bounce pass to Claver. And they hold it up. I saw a mismatch inside, but can find him. Wancho, Aaron Gomez. And they call a charge. Well, that's back to back fouls now on Juancho. Mills was set outside the semicircle. Didn't fall, but didn't have to. Had established his defensive position. And you see that Juancho goes right into his chest. So Hernan Gomez forced to go to the bench now with three personal fouls. And trailing by eight, Hernan Gomez. Well, not what the doctor ordered for Spain, that's for sure. Well, you're seeing a 3 2 zone now from Spain. Leaves Ingles wide open. Newell saves it in bounds to Claver. Rubio sinks the short jumper. Marcus Saul yet to really get into this one, just knocking down two free throws so far in this first half. Ingles to Landale. And Rudy Fernandez almost knocking it away. Delavadova short. The D by Spain. Claver picks up the loose ball. Claver catches it down low and gets the contact from Baines. Baines says, I went straight up. Uh, good job by Claver. Usually if you go strong like that, they're going to give you the benefit of the doubt, aren't they? Yeah, Baines picks up his first foul. Australia doesn't really have anyone in foul trouble. No one with more than one. Talk about Pancho Hernan Gomez is three, and also Rudy Fernandez has two for Spain. So here's Victor Claver, who Drafted in the first round of the NBA. His NBA career never really took off with Portland. Had a lot of injury issues. Came back, played at Kemki, Moscow, in, uh, in Russia. And there's Panyatis Yanakis, the legendary Greek player and coach, engineered 
the famous victory over the United States back in 2006 in the semifinals, 101 to 95. And then, of course, Greece uh, failed to show up in the final. <laughs> Spain really creamed them. Oh, nice quick pass. pass. Okay. Well, that's the problem with the 3-2 zone. You leave a lot of space open in the back of the defense. And Australia taking advantage. Ball goes off of Ingles' hands. And that's already the third or fourth time we've seen Ingles force a kind of deflection. You can see Delavadova right over Fernandez. And Nick Kay sneaking in behind for the finish. Rubio for three, it's on line, but it's a little long. So great Australian defense in the second quarter, holding Spain to just six points so far. Ingle puts it up. And now you. Ingles just one of five from the field, yet to get going. Rubio out to Gasol, he can hit that, but he misses. Yeah, somewhat surprisingly, Gasol struggling from three-point line, 17% coming into this one. Good, Good trap here. Good job, Della Vadova, and now a charge called on Della Vadova, kind of through his elbow, and it looks like he might have caught Rudy Fernandez in the chin. Yeah, he was swinging around, trying to create space. And we'll take another look. Oh, no, he got him with a head. That's a tough call for Delavadova. Took a little knock from uh, Gasol initially. Yeah, certainly Lamont didn't like it. I thought he flung his elbow, but that wasn't the case on the, uh, on the replay. But Spain doing a good job of sealing that baseline. That's a couple of times now where they've uh, forced turnovers. Australia also in the penalty for these last two minutes of the half. Yule bounce pass, Gasol. Now Rudy shakes uh, Ingles loose. Look at the pick set by Gasol. Then Rudy follows up the miss and gets it to go. Well, second chance opportunities. There haven't been that many in this one. Six points off offensive rebounds for Spain. Australia just has two. A lot of action in the half court. Patty Mills from the right, drills the three. Smart play by Patty Mills, just working that baseline. And again, there's only two guys back there, so a lot of room for him, to op for him to operate. He's got a game high 11 points right now, Patty Mills. Rubio goes between the legs, puts up another one from deep. And that three-point shooting stroke hasn't been quite there yet. Today for Rubio, he hit that early one. And Della Vadova uh, really talking to the ref about the contact, I think, with Claver. You see, though, this the brotherhood. Three teammates coming to his side. Watch this. Oh, oh, he got him with the, the right elbow. He's trying to get around him. Trying, maybe Della Vadova thought he stepped on him. Victor Claver just walked away after that. Now both teams in the bonus. Final minute of the second quarter. Comes back to Bogan. Takes it back, and then Claver takes it away, impressed by his defense. Lane was quite clogged. Bogut forcing the issue. Gasol still can't get it to go. Spain will heat up eventually, I think. They're certainly not knocking him down right now. Here's Ingles. K for three, that's off the left. And here comes Rubio. Spain just four of 16 from three-point range. Rubio, one of five. Pass back to Gasol. Della Vidova stepped in front of him and foul called on Della Vidova. Delhi got in the way. It was a bit late. And you see that left arm kind of got into Gasol's grill. 
That's all won the NBA title this year with Toronto. Nick Hay goes out of the game. And Chris Goulding comes back in, so that gives them another weapon, uh, really, on that perimeter. The minutes by Kay. He was a, a terrific player in their Asia Cup win in Lebanon two summers ago. Nick Kay and uh, you know everybody wondered, just like they did with Spain, which of those players from those successful qualifiers teams would make it. And uh, each one does have uh, at least uh, a few. Gasol makes both. See the backcourt pressure from Spain. Final 13 seconds here in the first half. Mills puts it up at the stripe. And Gasol goes up for the rebound. Doesn't corral it, but pa Pau Ribas and now Claver puts it up and puts it off the backboard. So at the end of the first half, Australia getting the better of the exchanges. They lead it 37-32 over Spain here in the first semifinal of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Victor Claver is going to inbound the ball here to start the second half. Spain now attacking the basket to the right on your screen. Again, wearing the white, trailing 37-32. Chinese women team here watching today's uh, game, front row seat. They've even got a better seat than us, Josh. Just barely. Well, we're more elevation. Well, you mentioned Juancho not being involved so much in the second quarter as you see Patty Mills here. And he strokes a three. Another assist from Ingles, but the first play for Spain was designed for a Hernan Gomez three, could knock it down. Now it's back up to an eight point lead. Well, that's one player that has come to play as Mills. Now Gasol answers in the lane. Didn't take him long to get that first field goal here in the second half. Baines with a mismatch. No, Rubio takes it away from him. Now three on three, Rubio, he pulls up. No, he gets it to Gasol. He then passes it, but eludes Aaron Gomez. Mills pulls up on the break, and it was too hard. So both teams dodging bullets. Three-pointer, and gets it to go. Yeah, Mark Gasol probably had a talk with himself at the halftime locker room. And five quick points for the big man. Right back to a one possession game. And that bounce pass was a tough one for Della Vadova to catch. Here comes Spain, Jeff. You mentioned it. Already a couple steals from Rubio. See the foul on Landale. You're talking about one of the best players in the world, Mark Gasol. He's not going to go quiet for 40 minutes. And now the chance of Espana, Espana uh, being heard throughout here with see the starting five out here for the second half for Spain. Mills back to Baines, open for three, and he's not going to stay quiet either. Oh, he points to three fingers right at Gasol, able to answer. And again, that's how far along the basketball game has come. You see the respective seven-footers knocking down the three-pointers. Five of 20 from deep for Spain, seven of 19 for Australia. Now the ball goes off Baines. Della Vadova gets it to Ingles. Now he's out on the break. And his pass, well, he was trying to get it going, but uh, threw it behind Landale. You don't often see that. Joe Ingles off target with the pass. Classic clash here between 
uh, Asia's finest, or Oceana, if you will, since they've qualified for the Olympics as the Oceana team already. And uh, a European giant in Spain. Now the ball in the hands of Mills. And he just takes it all the way. Yeah, Fernandez caught in no man's land. You gotta respect the fact that Patty Mills can pull up from three in transition. That time goes straight to the rim. Aliou pass, and it goes over the head of Wancho, but he hustles, gets it back. Now Rudy from the right, and the follow, and are they going to tap it in? The tap from Claver. Five on four here. Ingles, and Landale called for a push. And at the other end, Claver was slow to get up. Like he's going to stay in the game. Yeah, Ingles took a knock to the forehead. You can see. Watch this through. play. Watch him follow. This great hustle by, from Aaron Gomez. And then the three attempt. And then Claver. Ooh, ooh. Looks like he knocked his forehead. And Scariolo is saying, listen, that's a dangerous play. He took my man out. So they, they want to see whether or not Claver actually touched it or if it was a three. Right, because if he did get his hand on it, it would be a three, but so far they counted as two. I thought Togo Shaheen signaled that he had, had touched it. With a quick pass. And Watch Aaron Gomez couldn't quite get there. Ball gets out of bounds. Well, you can already feel the tension starting to build with every possession. Again, Spain needs to capitalize on as many opportunities as possible. Those kind of unforced turnovers. Mills from deep. He goes down. He will get three free throws. Well, we've seen it over and over again at all levels of basketball lately. Fernandez saying that Mills kicked his leg out, but he didn't give him room to land. Mills makes a smart play, just, just falls. Here it is again, watch. Yeah, if you're even close, shooters are gonna fall and referees have no choice. They're inviting the contact. Uh, but that's how good of a shooter Mills is. Mills today has uh, hit a couple of three-pointers, two of six. And now he has a chance to uh, take that lead up to nine points. Wow, he hasn't missed many of those. 90% free throw shooter. Coming into this game. Patty Mills, the only player to score over 15 points in all of, well, seven games for Australia this World Cup. Of course, they are a physical team, but so are Spain. And this is two of the three free throws, but Australia gets the ball back. Pass over to Ingles, and he's fouled by Gasol. He just looks away. Yeah, hard foul. Caught him right on the wrist. Gasol wanting to make sure that it was a foul, uh, not in the shooting motion. Fernandez, meanwhile, has three fouls, as does Juancho Hernan Gomez for Spain. So Spain up against it right now. And Patty Mills continuing uh, to, to draw those fouls. Yeah, Mills just puts so much pressure on your defense. He just moves at a you know, higher motor than everyone on the court, it seems. So quick. Coming off screens, and they slip. Oh, and Gasol comes over and swats K. Well, that's why he's the former Defensive Player of the Year in the NBA. So aware, help side, challenges. Boy, with him and uh, with he and Gobert at this World Cup, just tells you the quality of centers in this final four. 
4.2 seconds on the shot clock. Delavadova gets it in to Baines, and he gets blocked by Gasol out on the perimeter. Now Rubio over to Yule. Ooh. Yui puts it up, and a rebound. Delavadova blocked from behind by Rudy, Rudy Fernandez, but then the ball ended up going in. Well, if it's that Another. kind of night for Australia, that was a fortuitous bounce by all accounts. Well, the basketball gods smiling on them a couple of times. Biggest lead of the game, nine points for Australia. Rubio is behind the charity stripe. Nick K rebounds it. Patty Mills pushes it quickly, avoids the foul, and passes back to Goulding. Nick K thought about it. Excuse me. And now Baines. Goulding. And takes it in. And was that a pass? Wow. To Goes down the baseline, back to Gasol. No. Nope. Yule hangs in the air after taking the contact and is upset with himself for not making the shot. He would have had a potential three-point play. Bogut commits the foul. So Ingles uh, had a short break. Now he's going to come back into the game for Della Vadova. By the way, that last, that one play where it looked like Marc Gasol tipped it in. They gave the basket to Patty Mills. So he's now got 19 points on the game. Came in averaging 22. So you'd expect him to surpass that. And just one of two from uh, Yule. That's Spain's first miss from the foul line. Now Rivas in the game, guarding Goulding. Here's Mills. Puts up another one. And Bogan battling for the board, but the ball knocked into the corner for Rivas for Spain. And then Yule dribbles it off, tries to go behind his back, and dribbles it off his heel and out of bounds. Uncharacteristic. Just an unforced turnover. You know, he's not had his best uh, summer, really, with Spain. You know, we're used to seeing him play at such a high level. Since he made his debut with that senior team back in 2009 in Poland. Helping Spain win the title that year. And Aaron Gomez, uh, knowing the bounce pass was coming, so he was able to stick a leg out. I'm really impressed with Australia's defense, though. You know, they've played in a few shootouts. Obviously, that classic game against France in the second round, winning 100 to 98. But this one, it's been uh, all about their defense, making it very tough for Spain offensively. Fernandez guarding Mills with a shot clock about to aspire, so Mills launches it, clangs it off the back of the rim. 10 point lead for Australia. Gasol. Much more like it for Mark Gasol. Well, he's been the key in his third quarter, keeping them into the, in the game. You see him sagging off Bogut. Now Bogut not even thinking about shooting it. And now a push on Bogut. And that gives it back. Mills uh, left his feet there, not knowing, I think, what he was going to do. And it leads to the turnover. Yeah, great help side defense. Juancho getting in the way. And then Gasol boxing out. Bogut called for the over the back. And you see the other end, the two formidable centers. Gasol one at the end, one. And there he is looking at the ref. <laughs> Willie. Aaron Gomez, Goya in the game right now. So 
Tries to pick and rolls. Yule throws it up high off the glass. But his bank attempt is no good. And now Ingles for Australia. Looks down low. Passes it back outside to Goulding. And he's fouled by Rivas. <laughs> Just give it to Mills. Here's Goulding from the right. Kay was being boxed out by Rivas. And Rebos called for a foul. Was that excessive boxing out? Yeah, he had the inside position, but the way the ball bounced off the rim, Kay was just able to get to it easier. And now he'll head to the free throw line where he's yet to miss a free throw in this World Cup, and I don't know why I would say that before he shoots. No, you just want to jinx him, and you failed. Some of the Australian fans looking on, hopefully, prayerfully. Their team uh, perhaps 12 and a half minutes away from playing in the final. The way this is going. And the lead now goes to 10. The Spanish team, though, can heat up. Rubio, after just two free throws in the first half, Got a Man. few more, but Ingles. Ingles with, uh, yeah, unnecessarily fouling Rubio. Yeah, just couldn't quite come to a stop. Actually, Rubio was, it was almost as if he was hoping that was going to be the end result. Rubio laughs, knowing his former uh, Utah Jazz teammate took the bait. Points for Rubio now. He goes his five assists and three boards. This is where he made his senior team debut. In fact, there's big tournament at the uh, Beijing Olympics. R Ricky Rubio. You see this pressure in the backcourt. Four Spanish players. They look trap. Denying Delavid over the ball. We're also forcing Australia to uh, take a lot of time off the shot clock before initiating the offense, and then it leads to a turnover. Golding spun and just lost it. Now pass to Yui. Here he comes. On front foot. Aaron Gomez turns. And Baines had it in his hands, but did not control it. And again, another opportunity for Spain, and Rubio misses. Again, another opportunity. This time, Yule, and he hits the three-pointer. Ingles back to Mills off one foot and good rebound K wow what a put back that was well K was wide open Mills missed him initially off the drive but he stays with the play and now K a quiet 12 points and six rebounds off the bench huge contribution from the big man here he is switched onto Yule Rebus right at the charity strike. Now Mills in the final minute of the third quarter. Baines, he's hit one from there tonight, but not that one. And that'll be Spain possession. Well, that rebound was up for grabs. No one really went for it. And I believe Della Vidova. Yeah, you see, just off his fingertips. Jorge Garbajosa, who played in Spain's 2006 uh, world title winning team, of course had that huge final against Greece. Now the president of the Spanish Basketball Federation. Oh. And Rubio gets rejected by Baines. And Australia will try to hold it for one. Good timing, Rubio thinking there was a goal interference of the ball had already gone off the backboard and his arguing 
has drawn a technical. Yeah, Rubio trying to get his point across. Probably not the best time to do so as you put Patty Mills on the foul line and he wanted a goaltending. It was close. Have look a look at, at it. I mean, obviously, Baines pins it off the yeah. backboard. Looks like he got there right at the same time as uh, Baines' hand. Well, maybe if they end up losing by one point, if Mills makes this free throw. That'll be a, a moment that he'll regret. I understand. No, we had three. Somebody must see, but for, for sure he saw. And and Mills, who had missed a couple of free throws after being hit uh, from behind the arc, or after the contact with Fernandez, makes the technical and takes it back up to six. The advantage. Victor Claver is going to come back into the game for Wancho and Gomez. Rubio picks up the ball, the steal, goes in and does not. He tried to pass to Rebus, and the ball is knocked out of bounds. So Spain half possession. So he makes immediate amends. Rubio, look at this. And then it was a good job by Della to knock it out of bounds to prevent the layup. Rebus. Gets it to Rubio. A technical looks like it's really fired him up here. Puts it up and knocks it in. Ricky Rubio to the four. And now a charge has been called on Mills. With .4 seconds on the clock in the third quarter. That's the fourth turnover on Mills. Less than half a second left. You mentioned Rubio, 13 points now. Obviously, the five assists and then four steals as he forces another turnover by taking the charge. Whatever it takes from Ricky Rubio. Well, Spain doing a great job here. I mean, it looked like they were reeling a little bit, uh, but they have not gone away. So point four means you technically have time for a catch and shoot. Well, obviously, it has to be extremely quick. Potentially, Rubio could throw this at the rim. Newell gets it off. Well, that's the man that you want to shoot it. It's excellent, uh, not on that occasion, but Ricky Rubio uh, looks like the fire has been lit. And Spain firmly in this, trailing just 55 51 uh, to Australia here at the end of the third quarter. Starting with the ball. Bogut gets it to Landale. Mills puts up a very difficult shot, and Bogut was there to clean up the mess. So again, Bogut, I mean, Mills almost trusts his bigs to follow the misses instead of feeding them the dump off pass. Seen it a couple times now. And on the floor for Spain. And Rubio fouled as he got into the paint. Here's another look. Yeah, that's a good call. I mean, that's what the referee sees with Mills uh, putting his hand up, getting some arm. And that was indeed, you, you wonder if that was a shot? I guess it would be. 
It's a pretty good chance his teammate is going to go up there and tap it in. Here's Rubio now. And gets the first one to go. So his numbers keep going up, up, and away. 14 points. Five assists. Four steals for Rubio as well. Don't forget that. Olivadova takes it back up top. Ingles quickly back to Della Vadova. Landale from the right corner. And great job by Della Vadova to get the rebound. You know Landell can hit that shot, but you wonder if that's the shot they want to be looking for. Especially with Gasol out of the game. Maybe try to attack. Dova hands it to Landale, and again, Bogut there for the follow. This time does not. And Rubio stopped playing immediately like he'd been hit. Stereolo asking for an unsportsmanlike foul, wanting the referees to go and review it, but they can't review it if they haven't called it. Okay. Well, Bogut, watch this. Mixed in it once again. Oh, no, that's I mean, he, he got him on the shoulder. Ah, well, he did kind of tug on him, didn't he? And certainly a, a slight exaggeration from Rubio. Well, I'm just glad he's OK. Well, that goes without saying. Of course, here's Rubio. Pulls up, decides to pass it back to Claver, And he passes, and the ball goes off Aaron Gomez's hands. However, wow. know that it's going off of Australia's hands. Well, Hernan Gomez walking the other way. We'll have another look at it. Great pass. A bit of a makeup call, perhaps, from the officials. It might have called a break there, Spain. And again, the quick hands from Mills denies the inbound pass. And although Australia's had the lead for most of this game, over 20 minutes, up to 30 minutes so far, but Spain just right there. You can sense it. They're able to take the lead. Yo, pass it up. And that was a, a big shot. Rebounded the miss by Bogut. Of course, both these teams undefeated so far at the World Cup this year. Mills probes no look to Landale. Takes his time, misses. Ernie Gomez came in. And look at getting on the ground, Della Vadova. And now Ingles goes towards the baseline and is fouled by Claver. Oh, Delhi all out for the loose ball. See all the players trying to get another possession for their team as Nick K comes back in. Mando goes out. Although I'm not sure if K, you were told me before the game, K was going to be the second leading scorer for Australia. And they'd be in this game. The lob. And they get it to Bogut. Great execution. The back screen set by Patty Mills to free up Bogut. And Ingles delivers another beautiful pass. And you're right about Bogut. He's Putting up the stats, isn't he? Getting a lot of stuff inside. Now Fernandez gets to Darren Gomez and puts up a very difficult shot. Follows. And how long? Well, they're going to bring Mark Gasol back into the game. Ooh, now screen K. from K. Crack back on Ribas in the backcourt. Oh, nice pass. And K lays it up and in. And here come the Aussies. And now Australia. Obviously, plenty of time for Spain. And Gasol back in the game as well. Rubio goes behind his back. In the paint, tries to make the pass. Good job by Pogut to deny it. But then Gasol gets it again, and this time he does score. That could have been three seconds called. Gasol seemed to be in the paint for a little while, posting up Della Vadova. Rebus fouls Mills as he crosses midcourt.
three fouls on Powell Rebus. You see there, Gasol posting up. Bogut at the other end, and they're going to call goal interference. Well, they hit the rim as they went for the tap off. It's been a point of contention, as they yes. say, in this tournament. Yes, a little bit of controversy with the France-Lithuania game with Gobert hitting the rim late in the contest, dying a Lithuania point on the missed free throw. Rubio back to Marc Gasol for three. Good! That's what they need! Too much room. Bogut get sagging off. And Gasol, especially from the top of the key, just able to line it up and knock it down. 16 points for Marc Gasol. Ingles. Wants to get the ball to Mills, but Pau Ribas not giving him any space. And now Bogut is tied up. Great job, Pau Ribas defensively. Shot clock about to expire. Ingles has to let it fly. And Kay somehow gets the rebound. The unsung hero of this game, really, Nicholas Kay for Australia. The star man and the qualifiers coming to the fore. Here's Ingles. Hands nice it off cut. to Mills. Wow, that's uh, a great sequence of events for an Australian fan as they get the second chance opportunity. Patty Mills, 20 points now. Ingles only has two points, but those eight rebounds and six assists have been so key. Rubio de Gasol. Rubio open for three. Oh, build him up. He hasn't been knocking him down today. Now Mills. And Ingles, good job by Rebos. He's got a hand on that. And now Ingles fouls Ribas from behind. That is the second team foul on Australia in the fourth quarter. Aaron Gomez, uh, Wancho Aaron Gomez comes back into the game along with Yule, Rubio, and Claver go out. Rubio struggling a little bit with a shot today. Five of 16 from the floor, including one of seven from three point range. I think I jinxed him at the start. Yeah, I mean, he's not been afraid to take them. Just hasn't been able to make them. You're a poet. Did you know it? Here's Gasol again. Feels the mismatch on Creek. And goes up and scores. Great job, Mark Gasol. Kind of get the feeling right now their hopes ride with, uh, with him, but they've got to get stops. Well, it's officially a clutch game. Five points. Under five minutes is Creek. Looks like he might have taken an extra step, but there's Nick Kay once again. It's like they're forgetting about him, leaving him wide open underneath the basket. No box out. Ooh, back to Gasol. Paul Ribas feeds it. Good! Paul Ribas! Back to a four-point game now. And you see Sergio Yule all over Patty Mills, face guarding him. Okay, over to Ingles. Back to Kays, open for three. Goes in and out. And Juancho Ener Gomez with the rebound. Spain now can close the gap to one with a three. The pick set, Yule explodes down the lane. Spain have closed the gap to two. And Lamontis calls timeout. Four points at the half, of course, really coming alive here in the second half. You heard of the timeout. The pick and roll coverage is something that Australia wants to lock in on. Rebas' defense has been big here late for Spain. Bella Vidova, a little turnaround. Maybe not a, a great shot for Australia, but Spain's defense picking up. Spain can take the lead with a three, or they can knot it with a two. Yule. Spain switches onto him. He has to watch. And now fighting for position and an offensive foul. Oh, there's a, they're going to talk about it. Yeah. They both 
One referee called a defensive foul, one called an offensive foul. That's tough because they said Ingles might have pulled him down. I think he just got up on top of him really tight. I mean, Gasol can't help it if he's tall. Well, they're walking the other way. And Stephen Marbury watching uh, from his court side seat. We've seen Stephon Marbury, Kobe Bryant, also. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver in the house. And I believe Manu Ginobili will be uh, around for the Argentina game. Stella Vidova, again, closely guarded by Pal Ribas, who's been a real terrier on defense. Pat Mills for three, and the follow. But they have called the foul while attempting the three, so that's not going to count. Well, you saw three players from Spain contesting the Mills three-pointer. And once again, Hernan Gomez will be caught for the foul. Yeah, no question yeah, there. No question indeed. I'll tell you, that's what being a good shooter will get you. It will get you a lot of attention. And you have to manage. You have to get a hand up uh, without committing the foul. Four fouls now on Aaron Gomez. Had such a great start to the game, but wasn't really able to sustain that level of uh, performance. And Mills goes to the line to take it back to a three-point lead. Yeah, these are three huge free throws for Australia. Mills, who's just been on a tear at this World Cup. Scoring 20-plus in five of the last six appearances. And Spain, who were so close to regaining the lead for the first time since the second quarter, early in the second quarter, seemed like an opportunity slipped away with that offensive foul. Yes, it did. So three points for Mills. The last time that happened, he only made one of the three free throws. And it's back to a five-point lead for the Boomers. Gasol. And thought about putting up the three. Here he is taking his side, but loses control of the ball. So Rubio comes back in. Rudy Fernandez also very quiet game for him. Just two points. Just dribbling the ball off his foot. Gasol. And sometimes you just gotta let it go. Baines unleashing the fury. So again, the zone defense from Spain as they do a box and one on Patty Mills. And Delavadova's pass goes off the hands of Baines. So we've seen that defensive look on a number of possessions in the second half. Kind of a 2-2, two, two, two guys in front, two guys in the back, and then box and one. Just Sergio Yule face guarding Patty Mills. Remember, Spain beat Australia by a single point in the bronze medal game of the Rio Olympics. In left the Australians to a man in tears. Here they are, and doing battle again is Ricky Rubio fresh off the bench and cutting the deficit to three. Australia can't shake Spain. So they're really focusing on Mills, of course, as Baines. And, well, Omar Bermuda is the Mexican referee, calls the charge. The pass was made over the defense, and when he landed, uh, Spain had position. Watch this again. Rubio snuck in there. Well, they're saying Rubio was inside the semicircle. The referee's having none of it. It's still a one possession game. Goes behind his back, gets it back to Gasol, lays it up and in. It's a one-point game. What terrific execution. What a second half for Gasol. Mills to Ingles. 
and they get it to Kay. And Kay this time, because of Gasol's presence, trying to go with a reverse layup, and he missed. And now Spain can take the lead. Oh, quick and foul. That is four team fouls now on Australia. Spain led by five points early on, but since then, Australia have been in the lead. You see Ingles reaching in. Albanes goes out of the game. And Boga comes back in. And again, that's been one of the real stories in this game. Aaron Baines, just three points, three rebounds. Does have a couple of steals. Uh, but you're talking about somebody who uh, was arguably, with he and Mills, the best players for Australia in this tournament. But this has been Marc Gasol's second half. He has owned the game. Now Rubio puts it up. Offensive rebound, Rudy Fernandez. Now to Gasol. He thought about launching the three. Gives it back to Yule. Yule open for three. Puts it up. And Bogut with the rebound. Boy. Woo. Last minute. Australia dodged the bullet there. And Della Vadova decides to launch it. And Nick Kay with an offensive rebound. And the ball handed back off to Mills. Oh, great defense from Fernandez. And that's what he's done his entire career for Spain. Rudy Fernandez making plays on defense. Just moving his feet. his feet. That's a coach's dream there defensively. And you see what it means to Rudy. And obviously both teams in the penalty, so a foul would mean free throws. Well, Della Vidova with a hand check. Now Yule passes it back outside to Gasol. Now Yule has it. He's been in this spot so many times in his career. He drives into the lane, puts it up on the glass. And a foul pushing off called on Bogut. Oh, with wow. 8.7 seconds remaining. And Mark Gasol. Let's have a look here. Gets Ooh. off the foul, the right hand, the right arm, just holding Not, Gasol back. There was a lot of contact there from both players. That is a tough call for Australia, but Gasol now has to knock down these free throws. Well, remember a decisive foul was called in that bronze medal game that sent Spain to the line. Gasol's perfect from the line today, 4 of 4. But he's just been 68% before coming into this one. Well, Australia have got a box out, but nevertheless, what a moment for Marcus Saul. And there was no doubt about it, folks. That was going in. He has knotted the game at 70. And I'm guessing that Australia will call timeout to advance the ball if he makes it. Gasol makes the second big time from a big time player. They want to get it to Mills, they do. Mills drives in and takes the contact and Locatelli, the Brazilian referee calls the foul and you have to say you attack the basket and usually good things happen, even if it's Pat Mills who gave up a lot of inches there. Well, so much contact. First of all, on the inbound, you see Mills gets inside the lane, a lot of white jerseys. First gets hit in the head by Gasol, and then Clover did go straight up, swipe that left arm down. I think, in all honesty, both, both, both teams fortunate to get calls here at the end. So, yeah, the, it balances out after the Bogut foul to send Gasol to the line. And now Patty Mills, who has been on fire from the free throw line coming into the game 90%, but he has missed two here in the semifinal. And no timeouts for either team as well. What a moment for the will not be able to advance the ball if he makes the second. 
Mills takes his time and sinks the first. And Rubio goes in there and says, listen, we got to focus here. I'm not sure what Rudy was saying to the ref. But I can only imagine. And this is the second. Now Rubio with a chance to win it. He puts it up from mid goal. Oh! Went in. It hit off the glass and stayed out. Unbelievable. Well, thank God we get an overtime game from this classic. Rubio. Oh, wow. Almost the hero of heroes. Caddy Mills. Look at this shot from Rubio. It looks good from the time it left his hand. And I instead. Mean, I was on line, almost fainted in. You see Patty Mills breathing a sigh of relief. And can he bounce back now? Does have 24 points, obviously, but missing these three huge free throws in the second half. Well, at the end of regulation, it's Spain 71, Australia 71. We go to overtime. And now it's all about the adrenaline. Baines back in, who's been very quiet in this game. Oh, big screen, clobber, clobbers. <laughs> Patty Mills. The veteran Claver. Here it is again. Oh, I wasn't that bad. This is only the second overtime game for Australia in the World Cup history. They uh, beat Brazil back in 1982, if you remember that one. Were you aboard that? I was not there. Okay. But it was a classic. Yes, it was. <laughs> now Mills. Back to Ingles. Ingles oh. throws it into the hands of Rudy Fernandez. Seems like he got hit in the eye. He's got to shake it off. Now Yule hands it off to Gasol, lays it up. Spain in front. A great two-man game action between Yule and Gasol. Gasol setting the screen, just rolling to the basket. You see no help side defense from Kay. They've struggled with the pick and roll coverage all game. Mills pass batted, but Della Vadova gets it. And good box out by Gasol. And now it's Australia has gone cold in the second half. They've only knocked down two threes. Spain with the momentum. Rubio back to Gasol for three. Good! That is the response by world champion, folks. He is playing like it tonight. Mills from deep, and he answers with a three. That's a huge response from Patty Mills. Seemed like it was slipping away a little bit from Australia. Back to Gasol, will it be two in a row for him? No, it will not, and K beats Rubio to the ball. Now Mills again, goes in and out. Delavadova though gets it to K. And Australia nodded at 76. Wow. Well, Rubio's down. Felt like he got pushed in the back. Delavadova making another hustle play. Also, his ninth assist, both Rubio and Deli, as you see here. Slight little shove, perhaps. Yeah, I think he might have gotten away with one, Della Vadova. Nick K, 18 points and 10 rebounds. Unbelievable performance. What a story. Of course, K plays for the Perth Wildcats. Rubio bounce pass to Clover for the two-handed jam. What a way to pick up another double-double from Ricky Rubio. His 10th assist. He's been the MVP for Spain throughout the tournament. Showing you why there. Mills 
Thought about dishing, instead he takes it, and then he hustles and bats the ball out to Della Vadova. Now Ingles, and gets the block. And that might be, how many is that on Rudy? Number four, four fouls on Rudy Fernandez. Boy, a couple of those blocks called on Fernandez. You could argue they were tough calls. So Ingles will head to the free throw line for the first time tonight. Again, he only has two points, but he is a 91% shooter from the foul line. <laughs> You're doing your best to, to jinx the market. Just you? sharing the stats. That's all I'm doing. Will be the commentator's curse. Ingles. Nope. That's his first point since the first quarter. Does have nine rebounds and six assists, but they need his scoring in this overtime period. Ties it up at 78. Closely by Mills now. Shot clock down to six. Gasol says to pick. Yule has to put it up. Oh, it goes in and out. Unlucky for Yule. Has an uncanny ability to bring rain with that shot. He makes it a lot, but not that trap time. Mills. And now the ball. Good pressure by Rubio. Yet again, forcing the turnover. And yeah, Mills kind of a Back of days ago, pass out of the trap. As you see, the beautiful feed from Rubio and a ferocious throwdown from Victor Klaver. Rubio has 10 assists today to go with his 17 points and five rebounds. Not in 78. Oh, and Rubio. And they have called the charge. And it's Locatelli raising his up, his saying that Rubio raised his arm. Watch this again. And well, it's a great, uh, great replay. And I don't think, even if they review it, he did extend the forearm. Great timing from Mills, just felt the contact and fell. Even if he accentuates that contact, it's still an offensive foul. And the zone look defensively, boxing one on Mills. Bogut in the game, Baines on the bench. Quick pass to Kay, and follows up his miss, passes it back to Della Vadova. Della Vadova left without anywhere to go, and now Fernandez takes it away. Spain in the open floor, and Yul brings it back out. Probably a good decision by Fernandez as Australia got back on defense. Now Yul to Gasol. Good defense from Mills. He gets the pick. Gasol open for three. Off the front of the iron. Boy, that was a shot he would have paid for. Remember we said first to 80, Jeff. Mills. No look. Over to Ingles for three. And Bogut just able to get the ball to Della Vadova. Now he gets it back. And Della Vadova limping. Mills puts it down. Great job, Gasol. And they're calling him with a kick, That's which means there will be a new 14. And possession Australia with a chance perhaps to take a game winner at the buzzer. Yeah, Mills fortunate and there. Definitely a kick from Gasol. But uh, Australia really sloppy with the ball here in this overtime. They've got 20 turnovers on the night, and yet they're still in the position to win. 16.3 seconds remains, and they've put a new 14 on the shot clock. Now Fernandez turns his back, and they tried to deny. They get it to Bogan. And Pat Mills. Oh, quick foul, quick whistle. No hesitation. Well, 
Mills will go back to the line. Remember where he uh, he reaches in there in the left hand on the lower back. So Mills a shot of redemption. I mean he so did Marcus, get them to overtime. So so Mills yep Mills did get fouled by Gasol. That's three. And the good the good news for Spain is that they'll have time if he makes both free throws. Or if he makes one of two. You almost wonder if Australia might foul Spain. Nah, they'll play defense. Gotta trust your defense. Here's Mills. This has been a large part of the story today, not only with his overall scoring, but his trips to the free throw line. He was six of nine before that. Now he's seven of ten. And then and some of the Australian fans overcome with emotion here watching this. On the cusp of what would be their most famous ever victory in a FIBA Basketball World Cup. Mills makes both and takes it up to a two-point lead. Here's Yule and over to Gasol and Rubio has it. Now he's going to penetrate. No, he's going to get it. And they're going to get it inside to Gasol and he's fouled by Della Vadova. So free throws yet again from Mark Gasol. Well, they switched the small and big screen, so that left Della Vadova on Gasol inside, and you see just holding. Well, wow, that's a tremendous catch by Gasol. And Australia claiming that Gasol poked his arm under Della Vadova's. So it's going to be two free throws for Mark Gasol. Well, how many clutch free throws can he make today? I mean, he's already hit a bunch. Six of six at the line today, 27 points, 4.6 seconds remain. If you're Spanish and you're pulling for the Spaniards right now, you're as nervous as I'll get out. And once again, Gasol is just pure. Yes, a machine-like perfection. Both free throws. Mark Gasol, who without a doubt will be the MVP of the game for Spain if they can win. Well, of course, full court pressure. They're going to probably double team Patty Mills here. And Australia just have to make sure they get the ball in. They run the baseline. McKay hands it off to Della Vadova. Della Vadova has to put it up. And we've got double overtime. Officially witnessing history is the first double overtime game we've had in the history of the World Cup knockout stages. Mills drives in, and the tap is good from Bogut. I think a certain Dirk Nowitzki played in a couple of overtimes. I think, in fact, triple overtime against Angola back in 2006. Yeah, that was in the preliminary rounds, I believe. Yes, it was. Germany won that thriller. Here is Claver, clutch shot by Victor Claver. Oh, nice K pass. finds an opening. Oh, and the challenge from Claver, I think, made affected the shot. Now Rubio. Outside, wide open, Yul for three. Ricky Rubio finding the shooters yet again. And I'm just really impressed. Even though Patty Mills does have 29 points, he's had to work for every single one of them. Ingles over to Adela Vadova. He's open. Rims out. And... Fernandez and Kay entangled, both get up and run back to the other end of the court. Spain now with an opportunity, Rubio. They switch again. And there's Gasol, he catches it! He, had, he was right behind Patty Mills. Mills could do nothing, and with 3.15 remaining now, Gasol, 31 points. 
and Spain by five. Rubio, 12th assist, continuing his fine play. Dangerous pass. So Donovan Dover is going to go out. Chris Goulding is going to come in. Mitch Creek is coming in for K. And Sergio Scogliolo and this Spanish team, they've been in so many big moments. And here was that last basket. Rubio connecting with Gasol. Rubio, what's he got, 11 assists now? 12, and they just keep exploiting those switches. Goulding, it's been sitting for a while, puts up a tough shot. Good defense by Yule. Spain, all the momentum now. They've got to get stops now, Australia. Rubio. Again, great defense by Bogut to get a hand on that pass to Gasol. Mills over to Goulding for three. That's too long. Like he said, he's been sitting on the bench for so long. Tough to just come into a double overtime game like this and knock down the open shot. Rubio to the corner. Claver pump fake. Passes it back to Gasol. Now Yule for three. Well, I'll tell you what, he's had his struggles in this game, but he's starting to hit big shots. And Spain now lead it 90 to 82. Ingles trapped. Gets it over to Baines for three. Good! Breathes a little hope into the Boomers. Now they got to get a stop. And a block called on Creek. He's going to send Rubio to the line. He hasn't missed today. See him. Yep. Good call. A it's uh, of a second too late. Free throws at this time of the game a little bit harder. There's Luke Longley, uh, the assistant coach, former Australia center, watching. And three time NBA champion with the Chicago Bulls. Yes, he was. And Rubio, and you know what? The free throw game is so important, and Spain have excelled in this aspect of the game today. 16 of 17 now. And look at those numbers for Rubio. Outstanding. Spain by seven. Under two minutes to go. 150, in fact. Quick pass to Mills, that fumbles, goes out of his hands. And then Claver fouled by Mills. And really, you just feel with the body language and the looks from Australia that they, they feel like it might be game up. I mean, they've really lost that zest, haven't they? Yeah, Mills just can't quite get his hands on it. And you think back to that, that Nick K layup that rimmed in and out. Could have tied it in the second overtime and then Spain comes back and hits a three to push it to five. They've survived so many close games in this World Cup. Australia, but right now it's looking like their time might be up. Victor Clavier, just again, what a wonderful story of perseverance for him. He's come out just a vital member of this team in so many ways. Makes one of two free throws. Now Creek. And the ball slips through Baines' hands. Here comes Rudy Fernandez, and he's not going to go in. He's going to pull it back out. The cracks have shown for Australia here in the overtime, the second overtime. 124 to go. Spain leading it by eight, wanting to take time off the clock. Now Gasol looks at the shot clock. Baines gets the rebound. The clock now the enemy as well for Australia. And he gets blocked, Goulding, as he takes it up against Gasol, who has just been uh, an amazing force tonight for Spain. 
Yeah, can't talk enough about his performance on both ends. Pick up his second block of the game. The Ingles has passed up on a few shots, takes one here, in and out. Ingles just one of nine from the field, Jeff. Yeah, he is, uh, he's had a difficult day today shooting the basketball, Joe Ingles. You know, they forced Patty Mills. It's just 9 of 23 from the field, 3 of 10 from 3. So, kind of an inefficient 29 points for him. And rear miss at the line today for Spain. Australia led by as many as 11 points in the game today. And two misses for Rubio. A little bit of hope for Australia. Mills pulls up from deep and knocks in a three. And he gets it back to five. Good pressure in the backcourt here. Well, you got to foul Rubio, don't you? you just missed two. Oh, they're going to play D, it looks like. You don't want to foul now. You've let so much time go off the clock. Look the trap here. Four, three on the shot clock. Two, Yule. Over to Gasol, wide open. Good, right at the end. Oh, Gasol signaling it's game over. We'll see. Golding misses badly in space. Are gonna win. They're going back to the final of the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Winning a double overtime classic against Australia, who suffer the worst pain yet again against the European Giants. They lose it 95 to 88. Spain, just tremendous efforts. I mean, you know, we talk about Gasol, but it has been a heroic effort from a whole bunch of people today. Spain win it 95 to 88.